Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new survival challenge series. We are in Finland on a map called Kuzella. We are equipped with a trailer, a chainsaw, and a tractor. Our tractor is the only tractor manufactured in Finland, the Valtra. We have a Valtra G series. And um, the map, I'll show you the map. It is, by and large, a forestry map. But you can see there are some fields here for farming, and that's what we're going to be doing. We are going to go against the flow, <laughs> and we are going to um, try to be arable farmers on a forestry map. There are contracts here. Um, they don't pay a whole lot because the fields are pretty small, but uh, there are some opportunities to make a little money other than by uh, logging. So, but we're definitely going to start off by cutting down some trees. We own plot number 12. It's right here. It has quite a bit of grass here, but it also has enough timber, I think, to give us a pretty comfortable start and enough land there to, to create several fields and have a yard and maybe a production or two. So we're going to see how long it takes us to make a million dollars. It's pretty simple. Um, we don't have much. We don't have any money. So the only way to make any money is to go cut some trees. This is a really beautiful map. There are rivers and streams and lakes and lots and lots and lots of trees. I didn't start with the traditional 75 to 100 horsepower tractor because of these hills. Um, I'm going to need something slightly larger to get up and down these hills with trailers full of logs. So I went with, I believe it's 145 horsepower. I also didn't go with the traditional low loader trailer. I went with a logging trailer. I always watch these series and I see people cut down the first load of trees and they take it in and a lot of them will then immediately sell the trailer that they have and buy a logging trailer. So I decided to bypass that. Um, we, we went with the logging trailer first. And when I've sold enough logs, then I can buy a different kind of trailer to do different kinds of jobs. But the only job we have right now is logging. So I went with a logging trailer. It didn't cost very much. It was under $4,000. So it's about the same price as it would have been to buy an inexpensive low loader or flatbed. Seasons are off. Snow is off. It's always April. Crop destruction is off. Stones are off. Periodic plowing is on, as are weeds. So we are going to have to periodically plow, and we're going to have to deal with our weeds. Let's see. Forgetting which way to go here. There we are. Okay, I think I take a right here. And this is our land. This is plot 12. So you see, we have a ton of grass here. Uh, so the first thing we're going to try to do is sell enough logs to buy a mower and a forage wagon. And I noticed in the sale, there is currently a forage wagon for $3,541. So 
I think with our first load of logs, that's going to be what we buy. And then there are some mowers in the three to $4,000 range. So with our second load of logs, we should be able to buy a mower and get this field mowed and get the grass picked up. And then that'll probably be the end of our day. We may actually have to put the grass in a big pile because what I want to do with it eventually is turn it into silage. And I could do that by baling it and buying a wrapper, but that's going to be more expensive than just buying a fermentation silo. We can get a fermentation silo for 15 grand. So that's going to be our third purchase and we'll start making silage. And from there on, we're pretty much farmers. So uh, let's start with some logging, which is not really my strength, but it's kind of what has to be done at the moment to make money, so that's what we're going to do. And I have gotten a little better at this just from doing uh, Silver Run Forest and the uh, survival role play that I did on Pioneer's Map. So I've gotten a little better at it. I can't tell if my chainsaw is on or not. This is the quietest chainsaw I've ever had. Yeah, that's not doing anything. All right. We will also be using the dagger win method, which is to have super strength on. I'm going to try not to use it. My trailer is a universal auto load trailer, so I would rather use auto load to pick up logs than, um, than super strength. I don't see a whole lot of difference in it. Neither one of them are terribly realistic. But if we want to progress at any rate at all, we're going to need to use one or the other. We would just be here forever cutting logs so we're gonna use auto load and we'll use super strength when we need it and eventually when we have enough money we'll buy a tree harvester we will never stop cutting lumber on this map because there's just so much of it and there are lots of productions we can do to make our our logging more profitable I mean, don't get me wrong, selling logs is is very profitable, but it's you'll make a lot more money selling planks or any number of other things you can do with wood. Well, Universal Auto Load don't play. It wants you to be just stopped dead still no movement which is which is fine it it loads the logs very neatly so whatever i need to do to keep it happy i will do <laughs> it makes my life easier I'm always afraid I'm going to make the tree disappear. Oops. I've found, and you can try this and see if it works for you too, but I found if I crouch then it's easier to stay on the log all the way from one end to the other. If I'm not crouching, then I tend to step off of the log and have to step back on, and it ends up, I end up missing branches. So, sometimes I just need to crouch.
Now, I'm not sure I can fill this trailer up and still push it up the pull it up the hill. So I think I'm going to try to put one more tree on it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to put much more than that. Actually, I don't think it'll hold much more than that, but for sure, I don't think I can pull a whole lot more than that. I need to cut them a little longer so that I have fewer individual pieces. Problem is, if you cut the logs too long for the trailer, Universal Auto Load won't pick them up. The length of the trailer is built in, and I can't make it pick up logs that are longer than the trailer is rated for. These, I think, are rated for 6 meters, this trailer. So... But if you look at it, it could probably carry an 8 meter log. It's It's got enough room on the back. Well, that wasn't very good. And at some point, it will tell me it's done. There's one more piece that I ran over and didn't pick up. Is one of the reasons why I want to mow the grass so quickly is that I can't see the logs in the grass. It'll be much easier to cut lumber when we, after we've mowed. All right, let's take these back to town and get them sold. But this is about average for the size of the fields. You can see it's, there's a canola field there. Now comes the big test. Can we get up the hill? This hill is not as severe as the, as the other one to our left. This one has a little more gradual slope. But I think it is a little steeper up here at the top just for a very brief stretch and now we've started to slow down and this is why we never would have been able to do this with a 75 horsepower tractor There would have been areas that we just simply couldn't couldn't access. All right. Sawmill is over here. Economy is on hard. So that is going to be a challenge for us. But even on a hard economy, there are things that you can do to make money quickly. Not at the beginning so much, but later on, as we've started to progress, we will be able to raise money much more quickly than this. But we still got $6,581. Not bad at all. I'll take it. And we are going to buy... This loading wagon that's in the sale. It's nothing special. Yeah, I think I'll buy the covers.
A double axle would probably make it ride a little better. Let's go with the, something that matches our tractor a little better. And that is the ugliest design color in the world. So we'll, I think we'll go with red. That's not bad. And we'll also change the rim color to black. I don't think we've got black as a design color. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm putting all sorts of decals on it. I don't want to do that. None. All right, that looks pretty good. It's 25,000 liters, so that's a pretty good size. And we're going to buy it. So we got a deal on that. We'll just leave it here for now because it's time to go back and cut some more trees. <laughs> I didn't cut a single branch. I said I was getting better at this. I didn't say I was good at this. I should probably be using some sort of measuring stick. But at this point in the game, I think I'm okay estimating. I'm going to go ahead and pick that tree up. I find right now, when there's grass all around like this, it's just better to... To go ahead and pick them up as you cut them, or you will lose some tree, and then find it when you're mowing. Alright, that wasn't bad. I've done much worse. Boy, this tiny tractor has a hard time stopping that trailer. I said we may not need another tr tractor for the duration of the game, but uh, I'm not so sure about that. Well, I think we may need a new tractor now because I think I just crushed it. Nope. Close. Oh, let's get rid of this first. Wow. I mean, that's literally as close as I could get and not hit the tractor. Where was that last cut? I don't really know. So we're going to wing it. I think that'll fit on the trailer.
And after this first episode, I think I'm going to be doing a lot of my logging off camera. I think people are a little bit... A little bit... Done with forestry. There's just... In a survival challenge, there are just very few ways to get around that. I suppose I could have given myself a a mower and a forage wagon instead of a chainsaw and a and a trailer, but I think a lot of people would have considered that cheating. So kind of hard to know what's best. So I figured I'd keep it traditional and cut trees at the beginning. I'm just going to do that mostly off camera so that I can spend my time on camera doing some farming. I mean, I finished doing the roller coaster on Silver Run Forest. And that was mostly products made from cutting down trees. And no arable farming. And then I did the Zero to Hero Challenge. And I didn't really start off planning to do no arable farming. But I got close to the goal and I hadn't done any arable farming yet so <laughs> I figured why not just try to do the whole challenge without any fields at all and so I did and I only had grass fields so I feel like I haven't done any farming in a long time so we're gonna do some farming here on this forestry map I know it doesn't make a lot of sense but I like this map it's it's very pretty and for me, I have to want to spend time in a place. If I'm not... If I don't look around me and I go and say, wow, that's a beautiful view, then I, I don't see any reason to spend a lot of time there. So... And that one's too long as well. Yeah, if you're just a little bit too long, it's not going to pick it up. So I guess we'll go ahead and cut that in half about there, and it should pick up both of those pieces. Did it? I wasn't close enough to this one. All right, we have another load. I'll meet you guys at the sawmill. Sixty-seven hundred and sixty dollars. So now, I have a decision to make. We need 15 grand to buy the fermentation silo. And let's look at mowers real quick. I don't think there's a mower in the sale. But things get added. That Lemkin got added. But still no mowers. So let's look at mowers here. And it's going to be quite a while, if ever, before we get a swather, which is my mower of choice. But that's far too expensive for us at this level. We could go with the $2,900 mower, but it's 2.2 meters. That's going to take forever to mow anything. We could do uh, 
six meters, which is about as big as we can afford for 15,000. But then we have to also have a uh, rake. And we might need one anyway, even if we go with one of these. These are Nova Cats, and they will, they do have a swath plate, and they will lay down a swath. So for $8,500, we can get one that's 3.5 meters wide and lays a swath. So I think we'll do that, but that means we need about 15,000 more for the fermentation silo. And there's really no good reason to cut grass until we have that silo. So uh, we need basically another another 14,000. So if we're getting an average of 6,500, let's say, then we're going to need, yeah, we're going to need to do two big loads or three normal size loads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back. I'm going to do some more logging. Hey, we should now have enough money to do everything we need to do. So we're going to head back to the store. And we're going to buy a few things. I think I may have to leave this trailer here. Which is not a problem because I really don't want to do any more logging today. I think that's enough cutting trees by hand for one day. So, even though I haven't seen any traffic here, there are a couple cars over there, so I'll park this out of the way. Just kind of on the off chance that there is some actual traffic that will come through. And so we have our loading wagon, we need our mower. And we're probably also going to need to come back for a, uh, how big is that? That's 3.1. We're probably going to have to come back and get a wind rower. Got a swath plate. That's good. Tank and wet. I, I don't even know what those are. So we're just going to leave things the way they are. As long as it has a swath plate, I am happy. So we're going to buy it.
and we still have $21,000 left over. We need 15 for our our fermentation silo. And then I can get a windrower for 1700 and I can just get that delivered. $1,700, that's really not going to... It's not going to break us to have that delivered. All right, so we need to figure out exactly where our boundaries are. I don't know exactly where I want the yard to be at this point. And I'm about to put down a fermentation silo, and I think it would be helpful if I knew. But this, I wonder if this is the, the boundary. No, I'm in plot 11 now. So yeah, there's no actual markers that show us how far out this comes. I think I'm going to go ahead and put that over here. I think our yard can probably go right in here somewhere. I am going to, I know that many people would consider this wasteful, but these trees are probably worth about $50 each. That's an actual tree. So these little toothpicks are just kind of in the way. If, if they grew, then I would leave them, but they won't ever get any bigger than this, and they're just going to be in the way. So, at some point, we can replace these with some, some bigger actual trees. And the, the tree planters are no joke, man. The especially the big uh, Volvo uh, tree harvesters if you if you use the quick connect and you put on the the tree planter and buy the pallet of saplings man that plants a lot of trees you can cause some serious lag in your game with that thing so I would I would urge you to be cautious. <laughs> Be judicious in your tree planting. Because you can mess up your frame rate real quick. You know, one day you've got a few saplings and the next day you're at six frames per second. Okay, so I got a few more of these to take out and we've just made a ton of room here. We took out all the big trees from this area. This is where all of our our trees came from, was this one kind of concentrated area here. So we are left with a lot of space. And take one more of these down. We'll actually end up taking quite a few more of these down over the course of time. But what I may do is get some sort of portable wood chipper and turn those into wood chips rather than just disappear them. So, I think we're about to run out of daylight. So, we're going to end this here. I really appreciate you being here. If you like this video and this type of series, then I sure would appreciate it if you would hit that like button and subscribe. If you don't like these kinds of videos, well, post a comment and tell me why. Either way, thank you for being here, and I'll see you next time.